M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So Icon 705, new firmware 1.32. I'm playing around with this. I think it's a monitor function. You monitor via IP. So if you look at the computer and read the part that says added DV repeater monitor function. So you can set the two section to a IP enabled repeater. And then you can still have your the from section, as far as I can see, connected to your hotspot and then using, say, and monitoring, I'm on reflector 30. Now, if you look at my dashboard here, if I key at the moment, it says GB7BP, and that's because I've got that in the two section. Now, the two section here, take a note of this. I'll see if I can make it a bit bigger. It says GB7BP, and if you look at my two section, I just put my finger there, in white, you've got monitor. Now, look at my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is connected. Look at my previous video, how to connect that. So the Wi-Fi is connected. We've, on our, another thing is with a new setting we've got here, you go menu, set. You've got this new window called the DV repeater monitor. And when you tap it, yours will say, if I tap again, not use. All you do is just import this file, which again, I'll put a link in the description, Cord at the moment by ICOM repeater monitor sample and then inside after you've done the firmware update you've got a new file and I, I suppose it makes sense to do a save and a backup first you've got a new file called repeater monitor and it's an Excel file and you you just bring that in here and then and then you can select it okay so it, apparently it selects all these different repeaters that are IP enabled and there may be a search feature because I'm trying to work out all why why do we need them imported so but anyway as i scroll through now now in the top section I, the bottom section is just my hotspot selected in the normal way just literally just select it and then like you always do but in the top section if i move away from we're on bletchley park at the moment which is gb7 bp which and that must be a proper icon repeater that's connected via an ip address if i move away from it now we do have to turn on the monitor watch this this is a new selection. Push the function button or multi knob, and look, we've got a, a function there called repeater money. Just down, if I just scroll down, can I scroll down to that? No, I can't. So, anyway, it's now it's here. Look, see, and it actually says on it GB7BP, and that's because we're connected to it. Now you can turn that on and off. Okay, that's off. So we're now we're not in internet connected to that park. If we just go back and it's blacked out. The little money word is blacked out. Now, if I turn it on and then back out, it's gone white. The reason it's gone white is because we are connected. Now, you can, I could scroll to another one now. If I just turn the large VFO and we have to have the top section selected right to something different. So that one hasn't got a IP function because straight away, GB7PBC doesn't work. Now, if you, as you scroll, you get other ones show up. The Cambridge one has gone white. So that's two I found in the UK already. If, the, if they're not internet connected, nothing happens. You don't get the square. There's one there. So here's another one, GB7DCB, and that one's connected. But I, f I found that if they don't connect, they stay black. So there's one there. It stays black. So if I go back, let's say let's get one that goes white. GB seven DC. And I if and I key the microphone. M zero FXB mic zero FXB test audio. Now look at my dashboard. <coughs> it's it's connected me to GB seven DCB. Now I, I I still think if someone calls on reflector thirty that I can hear them if I want to talk to them I'm gonna to have to change the top section to use repeater because I'm on a hotspot but remember I'm learning this so correct me if I'm wrong but as far as I can see at the moment I'm now able to monitor GB7 DC uh, and if there's activity I should hear it and so it's almost like dual receive isn't it but I'm still trying to find an active repeater that I can fully test that on but you've got the idea I'll put all the links in the description 
you've got to upgrade your firmware, you do need an SD card, you connect your Wi-Fi. And the connecting Wi-Fi is menu, set, then go down to wireless LAN. Now to turn it on, just scroll your VFO to the top and just tap it. You won't actually hear anything, but, but it will change from off to on. And then you want connection type is station connector network. And then connection settings, tap that, connection setting. And then tap again, access point. And then it will search. You'll find your Wi-Fi just like you, you would with your mobile phone, you know, your broadband router at home. Select that, put in the password, and then you've got the Wi-Fi connected. Now, this all this IP stuff that they've now brought in with the with this list, it apparently it's going to work in terminal mode, and you've got access mode. There's more to this, but I'm just touching the surface here, um, and uh, you know it's quite funky seeing this new selection that wasn't there before, and it's free. And I mean, Icom 705 to me is the, one of the best radios I've ever had. So hopefully that helps. All the links in the description. Ask any questions. If you've learned something new about this feature, because I want to be able to use it in, in every way possible, let me know and I'll make a video on, on learning it. So remember, it's a learning video and uh, I'm just having great fun here with the 705. And thanks to ICOM for always working and improving uh, the functionality of their radios. I know they've brought out uh, the new model, uh, the super duper model of this. So um, I think this all ties in with that. They're, they're, I think they're, they're, they're making the, that new radio that's going to be released soon uh, more appealing uh, by adding more and more functionality via the Wi-Fi sort of side of things. So 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you all now. All the best.